Who is Jesus? That's the most important question. Because the whole season of um, Lent is to help us to come to the conclusion, which is what Easter is all about. Jesus is our life, and Jesus is our resurrection, and Jesus therefore is the Son of God. Until we come to that conclusion, we fall short of our profession of faith. Jesus said, I tell you most solemnly, before Abraham ever was, I am. I am, of course, we know, is Jesus' participation in the divinity of his Father. And so, in other words, Jesus is really the fulfillment of the covenant that God had for all eternity with us. In the first reading from the book of Genesis, we are told God made a covenant with Abraham that he would be a father of multitude of nations and that, you know, the descendants after him will be in perpetuity, generation after generation. So how could this covenant that God promised to Abraham be fulfilled? It can only be fulfilled in Jesus because Jesus is the one who will ensure that the covenant that the davidic dynasty will be continued in us so the generations of people would include all the gentiles and we know that we are all by virtue of baptism we have been made king priests and prophets but how could this come about this could come about only if we have faith so that is the reason why today Abraham is presented to us, the model, the father of faith. And so, again, Abraham had a foretaste of the resurrection. Isaac's life was saved, for as if he came back to life, because he was supposed to be offered. And so, that is why, you know, when Abraham, when the Lord said, your father Abraham rejoiced to think that he would see my day, he saw it and was glad. It was already in anticipation, but Jesus' passion, death and resurrection is what ultimately they saved us. And so that is the reason why, you know, Jesus is really the completion of and fulfillment of the covenant. And in that sense, today as we prepare ourselves for the feast of the resurrection, his passion, death and resurrection, then again we are asked, Will we surrender in faith? Will we learn to let Jesus' um, word live in us? Because if the word of Jesus lives in us, we never see death. Not to say we will not die. Anyone who lives the life of Jesus never die, you know? Because death is only a physical death. It is actually the real death, huh? is a death to one soul. When you have no meaning, when you have no purpose, when you feel life is hopeless, when you are full of anger, bitterness, unforgiveness, that is what makes life miserable. So if you want to live uh, happily, uh, so just live the life of Jesus. Uh, let his word lift in you. Amen.